six of seven for 60 yards and a touchdown. Tofield back in the lineup gets the handoff. Good head of steam. As the special teams came on the field just a moment ago, uh, they're jumping up and down and beckoning to the crowd, hey, keep it going, keep it going, we need you. And it's going to come down to Scott at the goal line. Return to the right, he will not make the turn. He will not even make the 10 yard line. As you have last minute changes, barely got those extra folks off the field. wild all over the stadium. This could still be a double pass, and they get it away. He's open, and it is intercepted by LSU. Ryan Clark with the pick. Players on that near sideline. Here comes the blitz. Suggs throws this one. It is by Wilson. Touchdown. Fifteen yards in the pass play. Cedric may have gotten away with a little push yeah, down I there. I believe he did get away on Demetrius and a flood in this area right here. A.J. Sugg should roll to the right. Ninety seconds left in this one. Cedric Wilson will come in motion. There he comes. Will be a flood, rollout, flood. Suggs in the two-point conversion in the end zone. He's got at 1.30, showing on the clock, Eric Parker. From the 
shotgun. Davey retreats to the one, is hit, delivers the ball, and it is caught at the 32-yard line to the man Mike was just talking about, Josh Reed. By that holding call two plays ago. Six seconds, down to five, got it complete. Tackle is made, and timeout is being called. We have 2.1 seconds left. Now let's see, as we set it up, Royal on the reception. This is going to be an attempt of around 46 or 47. That shows you right there. They don't want to talk to him. Well, this is one of those things, Mike, of when you were a young guy, if you were out in the front yard, you did your own play-by-play, -play, and that imaginary ball, and you wished for that opportunity to win one for your school and for your team. Well, he can wear the hero's badge tonight if he knocks this one home. He's got a chance. And as you said, a lot of people dream of having this opportunity in front of the home crowd. The snapper, Brian Pear. The holder, Josh Booty. Everything obviously has got to be right on. This LSU, big underdog in this ball game coming into this one tonight, can knock off the number 11 team of the nation. And John Corbello is the third part of the connection that works properly for the Tigers. Here we go, from 46 yards. Pass is good. Ball is down. Tennessee got a piece of it at the line of scrimmage, and it never had an opportunity to make it. How big is this one? Well, that shows you right there on the sideline as Dante Stalwer takes a little time to visit with uh, with his personal person upstairs. Tofield in motion. Let's see if they try to go to him. Right over the middle, lock the pass, and Oh, well, hello, let's just score on the first play. Now into the rules of overtime. Now Tennessee's got to come back with a touchdown. Like this baby is over. Ron, they had him double. Now uh, Robert Royal. Motion by the back out of the backfield. Left the linebacker and a safety on the tight end. You couldn't have better defense than Tennessee had. A better call. But they didn't execute. Corbello with the extra point attempt. Good pass. The hold by Booty is perfect. The kick is up and through. And the LSU Tigers need one play to score in overtime. Now here comes Tennessee's possession. From the 25. And they're moving into that noisy student section that Adrian talked about. Sucks his pass. And that's Cedric Wilson. And they'll give him forward progress to the 15 and right. One to the bottom of your screen. That'll be Dante Stallworth. Second and ten, Tennessee. They roll the pocket. You see the pressure from the backside. The pass is complete. But stepping out of bounds is set right through. 38-31 in overtime. It's third down and three for the ball. Two seconds down to one. Did he get it? Barely got it off. For the end zone, he throws. It is knocked away and sent it to David Martin. Damian James, player of the, the week. The offensive player of the week. The benefit of winning the toss is you go second, so you know what you got to get. The, the other reverse side of that is you're down in the LSU uh, section. Let me show you something here, Mike. Those are not the edge of the stands. They're out of the stands. They are waiting to rush the field. They come out of the student section. You see this right here? In fact, I'm not going to be surprised if the officials don't slow this thing down and ask them to move back off the sideline. But, uh, well, they are. They are at about three yards off that sideline. But these students are waiting to rush the field to congratulate their LSU Tiger. But Tennessee is not done yet. They have a third, fourth down and three. Got to pick up the first down here. Oh, this overtime is done. Fourth down, three, at the four-yard line. Tennessee. A.J. Shelley's left on a pressure on a freshman. Here comes the pressure. Gets his pass away, and it is tipped and incomplete. LSU wins.
that this celebration is going to go on for many hours into the night. And I would remind you, I'll say the same thing I did the night that they knocked off top five ranked Florida down here. If you have a youngster at the ball game, probably you should say the curfew's off for tonight. <laughs> a great win for LSU. Here's that final play, Mike. Talk about it. Yeah. Blitz, full blitz by LSU, trying to get to A.J. Suggs. Good coverage. Ran out of room down here on the five-yard line. And uh, Nick Saban with a good defensive call. Rohan Davey, what a night he had. He was the starting quarterback. And he will be congratulated by all of his teammates many times this evening. The goal post to the north has just gone down. And they're working on the one down to the south.